Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Daily Decrypt, newest independent members of the Let's Talk Bitcoin network. This is episode 37, and I'm your host, Amanda. And today's episode is brought to you by B&C Exchange. NXT is holding a paint competition. Microsoft Paint, that is. The deciding vote for the top four winners will be cast upon the NXT blockchain. Transparent? Voting? Do those two words even belong in the same sentence? I know, I wondered the same thing. Apparently they do. Winners will be paid NXT, and the competition begins today and lasts through the end of the week. The theme of the competition? Why everyone should adopt NXT. Bola VPN has begun accepting payment in Dash. The VPN service, like most VPN services, accepts Bitcoin for payment and is now joining the small but growing trend of accepting alternative cryptocurrencies for payment as well. Bola VPN is offering 10% off their list price for new users signing up and paying with Dash. Today's silver is about $14 an ounce and gold is about $1,100 an ounce. If either of those meets your buy metric, you may want to consider that this Bitcoin Black Friday, the Roberts and Roberts Gold and Silver Brokerage will be donating all profit from all sales made at rrbi.co to antiwar.com. It would be like killing two birds with one stone, except no killing, and the bird would be a peace dove. There is a closed source and alpha stage cryptocurrency project called Bitwalking. And the marketing materials, of which there are plenty, say that this crypto will use people's motion while walking using either fancy fitness tracking gear or smartphone apps will be the miners of this crypto. And this may sound gimmicky to you, and it may turn out to be gimmicky. Who can know? There's no source code to examine yet. But as I was researching it, I was struck by the first few words on Bitwalking's homepage, which read, a new global currency. And that just made me think for a minute, and I wondered if maybe I might cause you to think for a minute about that also, in that we're living at a point in time in which someone can actually claim that, that they have created a new currency which they hope will become globalized, and they don't automatically get guns pointed at their heads because there are people who only a few years ago had guns pointed at their heads for creating new currencies. And so I guess I just wanted to point that out, the massive shift that has taken place in the minds of many, in that now anybody can say, I've created a new currency and not have to fear for their life. That's fucking awesome. Coinapult Locks has integrated with the Mycelium wallet. And what this means is that if you use a Mycelium wallet and you want to lock the US dollar value of your Bitcoins, which lie within, you can lock them with Coinapult. Coinapult converts them to dollars. And then when you want to unlock them, you'll get the same dollar amount back in Bitcoin. And to celebrate this, Coinapult is holding a how do you lock contest. They will be giving $50 in Bitcoin to the top 10 entries on their Reddit thread posted in the description below. As everything always is, you're welcome. Artist and writer Jamie Redman created this meme over the weekend, which features a child discovering that he can use Bitcoin to get around the allowance freezes that his parents use as punishment. And I thought again of this meme today when a teenager visited the Bitcoin subreddit and said, hey, how do I buy? Because this must not have occurred to me because I don't have children, but children are the perfect market for being their own banks. Like think about it, like when you're 10 or whatever, I'm sh- these kids are probably wanting to buy like Steam games or like gaming consoles or maybe ant farms or science kits. I don't know what it is that kids buy, but I do know that when they want to buy it, they have to beg their parents to bust out their credit card, which puts this huge barrier to entry for kids who want things, who want to own and use things. And if you're entrepreneurial enough to run a lemonade stand, certainly you'd want to be your own bank. Thanks, Jamie. Today's episode is brought to you by BNC Exchange. Upon launch, BNC Exchange will be simple, decentralized, globally accessible, and based on reputation. 
and ownership of the exchange is publicly available through crypto equity, specifically Bitcoin paying dividend tokens called block shares. Visit bcexchange.org to learn more. And subscribe to my channel! Work like an Egyptian.